Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Pandora and welcome back to another episode of Dear Mona. We are on chapter 23, Dear. Hearing the news about my mother destroyed me. I didn't know what I was more upset about. My mother lying to me and having that selfish affair in the first place? Or Mark letting everyone lie to me and keep me in the dark? I didn't really want to talk to either of them. And I didn't see that changing anytime soon. Before you get started, we need to know your blood pressure is really high. Is everything okay? Everything is far from okay. I'm not really in a good place, and neither are the potential fathers. And I'm not speaking to my mother. I see. Can I give you some advice? Sure. Always remember that you can't control the actions of other people. You can only worry about yourself and choices you make. You're right. Sometimes that's hard to remember. You're making a good choice right now. Testing for the Montochrono DNA is a smart choice. How soon can I get the, back the results? I have a friend at the lab. It will take, still take several weeks, but I'll put a rush on it. Thank you. I'm really worried. I suggest you put it out of your mind until then. Keep that blood pressure down. I'll try. It's a text from Mark. I know I'm not your favorite person right now, but I really want to see you. Meet me by the lake in an hour. I'm not going to take no as an answer. Not today, big boy. I'm really sorry, but I need some space, Mark. Space? Now? Mark seems so angry and hurt. Am I sure I want to reject him? Yes, because I don't have the coins. I need to process everything, and I need to do it on my own time. So you can run back into Sean's arms? It's so back and forth with you, Pandora. That's not fair. Whatever. You know how much I love you, and you still do this? Text me when you're done with your space. The next day. Ted, it's been so long. What are you doing here? Something I should have done a long time ago. Apologize for what happened between us. It hardly matters now. What's done is done. We never should have had that affair. Maybe not. But it still matters. And my son is furious with me all over again. I know the feeling. I'm going through the same thing with my daughter. What about your daughter? Pandora. My, you've grown so much over the last three years. Mr. Stanton, what are you doing here? I came to apologize to your mother, and I'd like to extend my apologies to you. My son told me you recently found out the reason for our move, and I'd like to say I'm sorry for my part in it. Apology accepted. And you know why? Because you're not the one who lied to me or owned me anything. Mark and my mother are the ones who left me in the dark. Pandora! Still, it was my actions that brought this about. And for that, I am sorry. Well, I appreciate you saying it. Well, now that you said your apologies, it's better you get out of here. You being around my mother is all, what all got us all in trouble in the first place. I wanted to smooth things over. Now that we might have a grandchild on the way. It's a nice thought. But I don't think there's a chance of that happening at this point. 
exactly. Mr. Stanton, your wife made herself very clear. She hates me, my mother and me. I'll talk to her. I doubt that will help. If this baby's marks, well, I'll be a big, fine mess of a family. I could even think about that now. So please, just leave. Yet another school day. I should dress up to at least get some nice compliments. Otherwise, someone will just talk about my baby. I don't think I have any. I only got six. Nope. We're going with this. Actually, I won't bother. At school. Ah, oh, Pandora. I've been looking for you. Hi, Miss Lee. Is everything okay? Everything is wonderful. The universe is so talkative lately. I've been having dreams about your baby. You have? Crazy dreams. I won't reveal the sex. You, but you would like to know something else. That your baby's favorite game is, or its favorite food will be? What do I want to know about my baby? Favorite food. I'd love to know what the baby likes to eat. I'm glad you asked. I've had many, many dreams about this. Your baby likes to eat salad. I've seen your baby eat pl plates and plates of salad. Oh, well, that's healthy. Indeed. I see your baby as a vegetarian. You'll do the best to keep him or her away from meat. Wow. Thanks, Miss Lee. Even if it doesn't turn out to be true, it still gets the mind going. What do you mean if it's mean not true? The universe doesn't lie. Right. <laughs> How come... Now, come see me next weekend. I have a proposal for you. A proposal? Yes. Don't forget. It's important. Okay. Wow, look at you already rocking that shabby mom look. Go away, Trish. Is that what you said to your wardrobe, too? Hmm, I wonder where Blair is, was today. Sorry, guys, I got something in my eye. She didn't tell me where she'd be out. Hey, I was hoping you could, you could stop by the shop if you're free. I want to show you something. All right, be there. I wonder what he wants to show me. Ugh, you didn't tell me she was coming over. I'm tired of her harassing me. And this, it can't be easy on Sean. I can't tell if she's insulting. Oh. Sorry, guys. I just got something in my eyes. Ugh, I'm not getting down on her level. Stacy, enough. Can you give us a minute, please? Whatever. But by the way, Pandora, pregnancy looks terrible on you. Your stomach looks so huge, and you're only, what, two months? Stacy, out. I'm sorry about her. Don't worry about it. Nothing worse than what I'm getting at school these days. Jeez. Well, I was hoping to cheer you up. I got the baby something. You did? But before I show you, say you'll go to dinner with me tonight. What? I know what I told us about us staying apart, but I meant what I said the other night. I miss you. I, well, yes, 
I'd love to go to dinner with you. Thank God. <laughs> anyway, back to what I got the baby. It's a stroller, but it looks like a motorcycle. Take a look at this pic. Wow! That's so cool! Isn't it? I think it's cool for a girl or a boy. Thanks, Sean. This is great! This is all becoming so real. And I can't lie. I'm hoping for a Sean Jr. Oh, yeah? I'd be happy with a boy or a girl. Don't get me wrong. But if it's a boy and he's mine, I was hoping he'd be you would be okay with a Sean Jr. How do I feel? That'd be fun. I like it. If it's a girl, you choose. I don't have any girl names in mind. I do. Oh yeah? What would you want to name her? Mona. I'd want to name her Mona. A second goodbye. There just there just seems to be no end to your worries. You've been hurt, but you seem to have forgotten you ain't the only one who was hurting. Is it really the end of you and Mark for good this time? But that is in chapter 24, and I will see y'all then. If you're liking this, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon because I upload twice a day, and I'll see you lovelies in the next video. Bye.